by purchasing a used Mercedes-Benz E-Class, W212, you will receive an unsurpassed high level of comfort, a spacious and luxurious interior, and the richest equipment. And you can choose from a wide range of worthy motors. The question is what will they ask for in return? The release in the spring of 2009 of the fourth generation of the E-Class excited many. Few people expected that the Germans would put forward something ribbed and sharp angled for the role of a business sedan. But Mercedes has not changed itself. Despite the new look, the continuity of generations has been preserved. As well as a number of problems, the train of which stretched from the car of the previous generation was preserved. Here are the timing nuances of four-cylinder gasoline engines, and troubles with air brakes. Perhaps that is why sales of the Audi A6 and BMW 5 series at that time, and later, looked more convincing. However, the restyling and modernization of 2013 removed a lot of chronic sore topics. So we mean, motors car got in abundance. There are plenty to choose from. Gasoline pieces 12, 4, V6 and V8. Naturally aspirated, with 1 and 2 turbines from 1.6 to 6.2 liters. Several diesels, R4 and V6 of varying degrees of forcing. Hybrid versions are built on the basis of petrol and diesel V6. You should be guided in this variety, A, based on the size of the wallet and B, taking into account the basic principles for choosing a motor on the secondary. All engines are good in their own way, but we keep our distance from extreme manifestations, in this case the most powerful ones. Well, the golden rule the more turbines, the more expensive it is to maintain also works in Mercedes. Otherwise, there are few problems. For example, a 2.1 liter turbo diesel of the first years of production suffered from Delphi piezo injectors. There are coolant leaks through the pipe under the fuel filter. Timing chain wear is typical. Recommendations worthy of a 3 liter turbo diesel. Problems with nozzles, turbine, etc. They will declare themselves only after 250 to 350,000 km, and the motor itself runs up to half a million kilometers without repair. And this is no exception. By the way, European taxi drivers are willing to use this. So a used diesel engine from Europe is a thing in itself. In any case, before buying, be sure to check the condition of the particulate filter in the absence of oil leaks from the cooler located between the cylinders. You can't say bad things about gasoline engines with twin turbocharging, they are still young. There are no particular complaints about the inline 4. Caution should be exercised when buying an E300 with V6 3.0, 231 to 245 horsepower, and 3.5, 272 and 292 horsepower, with blue efficiency and CGI versions. The M272 series motor was once famous for premature wear of the teeth on the balance shafts. And that costs hundreds of dollars. The manufacturer eliminated the ailment as part of a special campaign, but weakness will remind of itself at a significant mileage. Oil leaks are often localized in the area of the turbocharger. When buying a car, it's clear where to look. This is bad as oil drips onto the catalyst. Well, if you notice the loss of part of the coolant, the culprit will most likely be a plastic element under the fuel filter. In 2011, the 5-speed automatic became a thing of the past. The 6-speed mechanics remained, as well as 7 and 9-speed automatic transmissions. 9 relied on the most powerful versions. We don't have any statistics on it. But the 7-speed automatic transmission is contraindicated in overheating. For subsequent expensive repairs, it will be enough to warm up once. So its cooling radiators should be kept clean. There is an element in the automatic transmission that fails arbitrarily, outside the mileage logic, a microcircuit of the internal control board of the box. With this problem, the box goes into emergency mode with movement only in second gear. But in general, with proper maintenance, the box is able to live up to 400,000 kilometers. Super! Now judge for yourself whether the W212 is as reliable and durable as they usually say about it. The steering rack may start knocking and then leak after 100,000 km. It is difficult to change its oil seals, and therefore the rail was ranked as a disposable unit. But with rods and tips there are no problems. Changing the oil in the rear gearbox at 100,000 km. He is unproblematic. If the stuffing box leaks, then only to 200,000 km. Suspension silent blocks take care of 150,000 km, shock absorbers, 100 to 140,000 km. In the rear suspension for more than 80,000 km, the front rubber mounts do not live, and for more than 100,000, floating self-orientation hinges of the wheels in a turn. In general, the rear suspension is reliable. Front-mounted adjustable wheel bearings. They need to be checked at each maintenance and change the lubricant, they can burn out with the old one. Replacing brake discs is not cheap. They are enough for two sets of pads, 
and the latter go up to 35,000 km, front, and up to 50,000 km, rear. There is an abundance of electronics on board, so the owners are constantly annoyed by problems with the electrician. They are not critical. The case, as a rule, is a wiring malfunction and broken contacts. However, long-term parking without movement can easily land the battery within a couple of weeks. The problem is that there are too many consumers on board, the demand for energy is high, in a word, the sad glory of the W210, which is characterized by whims, and the first, not entirely successful attempt to improve with the W211 version are a thing of the past. And the W212 looks much more reliable against their background. Serious malfunctions occur in some cases, but the percentage of breakdowns is quite modest and therefore acceptable. Electronics will not let you get bored, but as a rule, there are no problems with the suspension, motors and gearbox. And then, together with the Mercedes you get the highest comfort, luxurious interior, the richest equipment and a range of excellent engines. Suspension components are not cheap, particularly the air suspension parts. When looking closely at an instance with air suspension, it will not be out of place to pay close attention to the condition of the airbags and compressor. Otherwise, in case of their refusal to get to the service on their own will not work. Do you have a friend with a personal tow truck? AKP7 will not survive even one overheating. The indicator on the instrument panel is late, it lights up when the control system fails and the clutches are on. First of all, higher gear discs die. The life of the box will be extended only by washing the radiators of the cooling system every 60,000 km. Disease of engines 1.8 until 2013, timing mechanism. On machines, there are frequent cases of chain stretching and malfunction of the clutch of the variable phase system on the intake shaft. In the clutch, the locking mechanism of the advance mechanism is destroyed, the motor rumbles like a diesel engine. The only thing that, as a rule, there are no complaints about is the body and interior. The quality of the paintwork is still without the slightest criticism. It's scary to talk about corrosion today. Well, the interior, in terms of comfort and quality of its components, this is perhaps the best that the global auto industry is able to offer today. There were complaints about malfunctions in the operation of the central lock and an extraordinary burnout of xenon headlights. Sometimes they are capricious and even the power windows fail. The same story with the trunk lid opening system. And it's still nonsense. Worse, when the head unit ignores keystrokes, 